This month will be two years since we started this plan. Two years. And I'll tell you, these might have been the longest two years of my life. Not even joking. Hi, I'm Wendy Valencia. My husband Mauricio and I have been on the Dave Ramsey plan for almost two years. Two years in just a couple of weeks. And in that time, we paid off almost $135,000 worth of debt. We still have a really long way to go. So if you are interested in following us on our journey and maybe helping keep you motivated to go through that debt payoff process, we would love it if you would stick around. And so click that big old red subscribe button down below. Today, we are going over next month's budget. So let's get started. Our first category is utilities. And in the utilities category, we have 189.05 for our cell phone, same as it is every month, and 270 for our storage unit. If you don't know why we have a storage unit, I'm gonna link that up here in the eye in the sky and go ahead and watch that. It's a long, complicated story. In our transportation, category we have gas at $60 we decided to up our gas this month to $60 while we probably will not spend that I hate going over so I'd much rather have too much in the category than not enough gas is getting expensive again it's kind of annoying. And then we have another $70 in our budget for our Easy Pass, which is the local toll road system that auto charges when you get down to $20, it auto charges $70. And truthfully, will we probably use it? No, but the one month I decided to take it out, we had to do lots of extra driving on the toll road and we got charged and I hadn't had it in the plan. So it's gonna stay in the plan from now on. The next category is the Molina category. This is the category where I put all of the stuff that's related to Molina. We have $590 for her before and after care. We have $40 for her school bucks, which is her lunch money. She doesn't buy breakfast or lunch at school very often, but we want her to always have the ability, if she's hungry, to be able to buy money buy anything she wants so we do keep that and it auto charges at $20 and then we have $20 for miscellaneous school expenses for Melina in our insurance and tax category we have our USAA insurance does not come through every dollar because it is taken directly out of my paycheck at $169.73 but we like to keep track of it as an expense so we keep it in here we have the CM FG insurance, which is $12 a month. And that is a stupid insurance that I signed up for with our biggest loan. And I'm really hoping it'll go away in a few months when we pay off our biggest loan. My life insurance, much like the USAA insurance is paid directly out of my paycheck at $91.65. And again, we just keep track of it in there. And then Mauricio's life insurance, we got that through Xander. His is $35.83 a month. And FYI, I've had probably five or six occasions to call Xander for various insurance quotes. And oh my gosh, they're such an awesome company. The people are so nice and they are so helpful. And I cannot tell you how much I appreciate them. If you're ever looking for insurance, I highly, highly, highly recommend them. Then we have the Mauricio category and the Wendy category, and neither one of us have anything in here. These categories are usually things as they come up. I'll be honest. It happens. The next category is our cash category and I do a whole video on the cash category and envelope stuffing every single month. So keep an eye out for it. It is coming in, hold on, I'll tell you. It is coming on April 9th. In recurring and annual expenses, we have $30.97 for iTunes, which includes Apple Music, Netflix, and our iCloud. We have $44.95 for Weight Watchers. 
$14.95 for Audible, $25 for Skype, $3.99 for Amazon Music, and this month we have $99 for our every dollar annual fee. In our YouTube category, we have $4.50 for TubeBuddy, $5 for Backblaze, $3.43 for Morning Fame, and $19.95 for a YouTube group I belong to. In our medical category, the category that I don't normally put money in, I have decided to start putting $100 for my eye drops in there because I am buying them every month. So right now I'm just going to start budgeting them in. My eyes are becoming a problem. I talked about it in this video up here. They're really getting expensive, but I don't want to slack on them because... They're my eyes and I kind of need them. And then we have another $22 in there for Mauricio for parking at work, just in case he has to go in and I'm not going in. In our sinking fund category, we had $150 for medical, $100 for car repair replace, $100 for Christmas, $50 for emergency trip to Columbia, $25 for miscellaneous school expenses, $100 for summer camp, $100 for work travel expenses, and $100 for our anniversary. In our next category, we have put in a hundred dollars for Amazon and a hundred dollars in our cushion category because you gotta have a cushion. I know some of you don't believe in cushion category but the cushion category saves me from overdrafting our checking account every month and I'd rather have it in there than overdraft. Now keep in mind this budget is before Mauricio and I have had our budget meeting so things will change a little bit and then I'll update that in the mid-month budget update video that will come out in the middle of the month. As of today, today, and this is subject to change, we have $7,428.39. That, I am really hoping we are able to keep that huge amount of a payment to debt next month. It would be so fantastic. So, okay, that light just freakishly got brighter. A little creepy. Okay, what is going on with this light? It's like a poltergeist in here. That way we'll have a little bit of wiggle room in it. Ah! Okay, so that light just blew out and so now I'm down to one light. So um, I apologize for the freaky shadows, but I wanna go ahead and finish this video and hey, real life. So um, apparently you're about to see a new light bulb for my studio lighting show up in the budget. Awesome. Those aren't cheap, so I'm not excited about that. It smells like it kind of caught on fire. Hopefully it's not the actual light and it's the light bulb and it'll be okay. Oh, oh my goodness. We had the cutest, most adorable little St. Patrick's Day thing going on at the house. Melina came home from school and she was talking about how the leprechaun was going to come to visit. And I was like, excuse me? Yeah. Love it when the school decides to, uh, plan how I'm going to celebrate a holiday, <laughs> but that's okay. So the leprechaun did come to visit and Melina was so excited. She found the leprechaun had gone in the potty and did you know leprechauns pee green? And then the leprechaun had pulled all the books off Melina's bookshelf and left her a note with some little St. Patrick's Day cool little things and thanks mom and dad. It was super cute. Oh. So adorable. I love the enthusiasm of the six-year-old. It's just so cute. The other night, Mauricio came and took Melina on a date to the daddy-daughter dance. Oh my goodness, it was so cute. Mauricio got all dressed up in a suit and we bought a corsage and Melina got dressed up in the fanciest dress and she was so excited. It was adorable. I did finally get my hair cut. I've done several videos since then. I haven't really had a chance to talk about it, but I'll talk about it now. Got my hair cut. It ended up being $25 for the cut, and I decided 
Mauricio and I both decided that I needed corrective coloring in a bad way. What happens with my hair is it looks really gorgeous for about a week after I color it if I put a toner on my whole head. After about two weeks, it starts going brassy and every hairdresser I've ever had has told me that my hair pulls a lot of red, whatever that means, but it makes my hair brassy really quickly. And so after like a week, towards the end of the month, it gets super, super, super brassy. And so I talked to the lady that we had found and she was super nice and I explained to her, listen, I am not going to be getting my hair professionally colored every month. I am happy doing it myself. It is just too brassy. Can you fix it? And so she was super sweet and she fixed it. And so now this is what it looks like. We're back to normal. So she said probably with my hair color, I will have to come in about every six months to get it color corrected but that she told me, walk me through the process of doing it all myself. You'll see in next week's budget report card, it, it wasn't cheap. It could have been worse or I could have not done it and had yellow hair all the time. But so if there are any hairdressers out there, do you have any suggestions on how to keep platinum blonde when your hair is 100% gray and pulls a lot of yellow? I've been recommended like purple shampoos and conditioners and stuff. And I'm looking for a cheap solution. I don't want to spend a lot of money on my hair right now. So actually, truthfully, I don't probably want to spend a lot of money on my hair ever again. I'll see you in the next one. See ya.